I'm going to take a look at the online textbook for those of you that may have questions. Just kind of a review. In order to access the book, you need to go to my.mheducation.com and you'll come up to the screen here. You'll use your username and your password. If you don't remember either, you can message me and I will send those to you. So we can log in. You're going to come to what they call kind of a home screen. Your name over here. I believe you can change your password over here as well. And link to Google. Which we are going to allow. And we can add an email address and whatnot. But what we're going to do from here is we're going to go back to the McGraw Hill site. You can see the textbooks. I have algebra and geometry here. And click on algebra. You can click on the picture or the watch. Doesn't make a difference. And you come to various resources for the online the student center. We have lesson resources, which we'll go over in a minute. We have homework. I can click on any of these to go to various sections within the book. We're going to start with solving equations by addition and subtraction. Over here, you see a menu button. When I click on it, you can go to the messenger and actually send me a message. You have your own notebook. You want to take notes in here. Glossary. Standards or state standards. Let's look at resources. If you're not getting a concept, you can click on one of these. Uh, there's a self-check. It's a little quiz. See how you're doing if you're not getting something. And then if you're checking, you click on all resources to come back. We have eight self-tutors, personal tutors, which are videos on... Hi, this is Mr. Rutherford. In this problem, we will learn to solve an inequality. And you also have uh, vocabulary, you have worksheets, same stuff I've handed out in class before. Let's go to a menu, let's go to homework. You notice here that I have two. This is one that's due today, due tomorrow actually, and one that's due later. Now, we're going to look at this one first. I click on this, I get, uh, you can, it says after you turn in this homework, you'll not be able to restart it. That's going to be the case for quizzes and tests, but for homework, I've set it up where you can come back in as many times as you want. You just want to have it done by the due date. I clicked on the picture over there on the uh, textbook. This one here. And I'm going to make this full screen. Am I ready to begin? Yes. So, gives me a question here. This is 5-4. Uh, so, graph the solution set of each compound inequality. So compound meaning more than one, right? And is less than or equal is greater than or equal to negative four and less than and equal to negative one. The fact that it's got the equal sign means I'm going to have a filled in circle. So that eliminates this one and this one. And since it's greater than negative four and less than than one. It can't be bigger than one and it can't be smaller than negative four. So that's going to put me right here. Now I've set it up where you can come in and check your answer. So that one's correct. Now if I had chosen the wrong one, should the dots be open or closed? It's going to give you a hint. Okay, so let's see what it says for this one here. Uh, double check the direction of the arrows. So in this number is going to fall between this range. But the points, the negative 4 and 1, because of that equal sign, 
means that they're going to be included. So it's going to be this one. Let me go on to the next one. X is greater than 0 or X is less than 3. Well, since there's no equal sign, since it's not greater than or equal to 0, it's just greater than, I know that on a number line that circle is going to be open. Okay? This is all real numbers. That's not going to be the answer because it's got to be greater than 0 or it's less than 3. This is the only one here that's between that range. So if I check that, and I can just check. Oh, double check the direction of the arrows. So x is greater than 0, and x is less than 3. Well, it certainly isn't 1. Could it be b? It is b. So it's greater than 0, so it's going to go on indefinitely this way, and it's less than 3, it's going to go all indefinitely this way. So this is the correct one. Let me do one more. G is less than negative 3, or G is greater than or equal to negative 4. So now I've got a, an open circle and a closed circle. So where do I have an open and closed circle? Right here and right here. So g is less than negative 3, so that's correct. So, g, so it's going to be a. Let's check. So if I wanted to stop and come back, I don't want to choose finish because I'm not finished. I want to come back to it. I can save and exit. So are you sure you want to save your answer for later and exit the assignment? Yes. And then I can close this window. Let's say I'm going to come back to it and finish up the questions. I click on the picture again. It says yes. Right again. It says yep. Have you you've not finished the previous attempt? Do you want a yes button to resume or no to start over? Well, let's just resume where we left off. And there's our information. Now let's say I chose finish. At this point, I'm going to submit the answers. So when you're done and you're ready to submit, you hit finish, and it will tell you. Now, in this case, this is open end questions have not been scored yet. Those are ones that I have to come in once the deadline, and then I score those questions whether they're right or wrong, give the points assigned. There's 20% based off the answers I did answer. And those are going to be multiple choice or true false questions. Now, if we come up here to this one, the thing you're going to notice different about this one, this one has a timer. So I can answer these questions. Yeah, it's, uh, now 12 is at most a number. So it's going to be, is at most, it's going to be C. Let's check that. Oh, no. Nope. So it's going to be at most 12. This number here is greater than, let's see if that's right. Yep, there we go. So why is that? So this is my, this is defining the variable. 12, write an inequality and solve each problem. 12 is at most a number decreased by 7. Well, n minus 7, that's the same problem as 12. So it really boils down to it's this inequality sign. The difference between this one and this one, well, n is less than 19. Well, if, if n is 19 minus 7, well, that works, right? 12 is greater than or equal to 12. And this one says, if n is 19, 19 minus is 12. Or if it's 18, 18. So that's the one we want to go with. And we can double check that again. And you do the next question and pick an answer. But the objective, the objective here is for you to master the information. So if I want to say I'm finished, now with this one, if I finish it, this is more like a test and a quiz. Once I finish, I can't come back in. And I submit it. It tells me what my score is. Let's say I try to come back into this one. Maybe it will let me if I don't have it set up right. Uh, nope, you're only allowed three attempts for this. So I can't go back in. I thought I was saving it, but I finished it. It's really important that you select finish, save, save, and come back. Let's just look to make sure what that wording is. Again. Yes. So I want to save and exit. I do not want to finish until I am done with it. Save and exit. 
Now I can come back. So that's the online textbook. If you have any questions, let me know.